Hi guys, my name's Jonathan and today we'll be going through NetSuite Save Searches. A NetSuite Save Search is a fantastic data analytics tool. It allows you to access all the data from all the different records and from all the different sources of information within the NetSuite system. In this video, we'll be going through how to configure a save search in a format that you need, showing you the results that you require and how to share that information with other members in the team. We'll be going through the basics. I hope you enjoy. To create a save search, you need to first go into the reports tab at the top of your screen. Reports, save searches, all save searches, and then click new over here. I'm currently logged in as an administrator. If you do not have access to creating a saved search, please reach out to your systems administrator or the NetSuite or the Anexa NetSuite support team. Once I click on the new saved search tab, it's going to show me a list of all the records within NetSuite. All the records from your chart of accounts, your transactions, employees, every single thing you have access to report on is listed here. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be creating a saved search to show bill payments and the corresponding bill and purchase order relating to that bill payment. For all transaction type reports, you need to go down and click the transaction option under the new, new saved search list. As we will be doing a working example, and creating a saved search from scratch. I will explain to you each step along the way so that you're able to create your own saved searches for your own purposes and requirements. When I click on creating a new saved search, you'll see it says save transaction search. So that verifies to me that I've selected the right type. The first thing I wanna do is enter a transaction search and a search title. So this one is gonna be bill payments corresponding PO and bill. You can set an ID if you want, but it's going to generate one automatically. If you want it to have it available to all users, you press public. If you want to have it available as a list view on your dashboard, as a reminder, you can click these boxes accordingly. We'll go through that a little bit later. The first tab you see here is criteria. So criteria is all the rules that you set to ensure that the data within NetSuite is configured into the format that you want to see it, as well as to reduce the data size or the, the scope of the data so that you only see information that you're interested in. When I first load up a transaction search, if I was to run this right now, it's going to show me all the transactions in the system. Now we don't want that we are going to be doing a bill payments transaction. The first thing I want to do is define the type of transaction I'm interested in. And so within my filter region, I can find type. The easiest way to find it is by typing straight into that text box, or you can also use the control F feature on Chrome and type in your details up here. So if I select type, it's going to show me there. I can also select type and type that right in there. And it's going to take me straight to that. You'll also be greeted with a pop-up once you select that. If you click on the two arrows on the right hand side, you'll see a complete list of all the transaction types in NetSuite. So as mentioned before, we're going to be doing bill payment. So I'm just going to select bill payment. You can see deposit, estimate, sales order, item receipt, all these options are available. Click done and click set. So now your report's only looking at bill payments. One very important thing when coming to transaction searches is the main line criteria. Now main line refers to the header line of a transaction. And what I mean by that is on a transaction record, you have the header information, and then you have all the item lines. If you're interested in the item lines, you do not want to select main line. If you are header, interested in only the header information, you want to select yes 
to mainline. In my example, I'm going to click no. And I'm quickly going to show you what I mean by that. And we're going to be using a sales order for this demonstration. When I look at a sales order like this, the header information is what I'm currently selecting now. This is called the main line. Down here is the sub list. Anything within the sub list, such as shipping, tax, delivery information, item information, this is not the main line. When we run a transaction search, this defines what data we're looking at. In our example, we want to be selecting the non main line element down here. Okay, I'll clear that off and we'll continue with the creation of our save search. Once you've defined all the criteria and you can put as many criteria as you want in here. For example, you might also be interested in date and you can select a date range of your choice. You, would, you could also be interested in the user. And more importantly, save searches also have the ability to investigate or return data from related records of the bill payment in this example. When I have a look at my, my filters list, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll start seeing results that have the three dots after it. This means that it's a related record of, a, of your original transaction type. Now, what's a related record? Well, I will show you. When I have a look at a sales order, for example, you can see that there is a customer record associated with it. You also have item records, basically anything that is linked to that sales order, any other documents or records in NetSuite that are related. These, these records are not on a sales order, but they're a separate record in the system that's associated with the sales order. So anything such as item, you've got your shipping address, you've got your GL accounts, any other related records, any other relationships, if you have contacts associated with it. And a save search will actually allow you to dig into the related record and return that result as well. If I wanted to return customer fields in my sales order example, I could go into customer fields and I could look for customer name and then define a customer name. And so this might be ABC furniture, for example. This means I'm looking at bill payments. This example wouldn't work, but the customer name would have to be ABC Furniture for a result to display. Now in my example, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm also gonna put a date range in there for this year. I can type it straight into there or I can select into the, the quick filters and find the information I'm after and you can see it's set the date. I'm just gonna wind it back a bit as well. Once I've set the criteria, the next tab along is results. Now, when you load up the results tab, under columns, this is the information that you'll, you'll see. These are the columns on your report. For the purpose of this example, I'm gonna click remove all. You've also got some other sorting options up here. So here you've got your sort options, sort by one, two, and three, output types, exchange rates, and some advanced features on this side. We won't worry about that for now. Under columns, the first thing I wanna put is my date. And I'm just gonna add a few. This is the purpose of, this is for the purpose of this example. We're gonna be creating a bill payment corresponding purchase order and bill save search.
Okay. What I've just done here is I've added the date of the bill payment transaction and the transaction that it's paid from. So like I said, where is, where is this bill payment made? And our related record is the created from transaction. So this bill payment was created from somewhere else in a system and using that related records feature I mentioned before, I can go paid transaction fields. You'll see the three dots after it, which means it's a related record. And then I can dig into that related record information. In this case, I'm looking at where that related record was created from. I'm also interested in the amount paid. I'm also interested in the document number. And I'm also interested in the name of the payee. And to keep it nice and simple, I've now got six columns on my report. To assist with visualization, there's some other fields here. And on the right hand side, we have a custom label. If you wanted to put a custom label in for the purpose of this report, I could have date paid. My paid transactions, also known as my bill number. Created from would be my purchase, my purchase order number. Paid amount, amount paid. Document number, check number, and my payee name. Now, don't worry if you haven't understood everything I've said here. This is a very specific example. I'm just showing you the functionality of a save search so that you're able to achieve the requirements within your line of business or your organizational aspects. Now, this is a very specific example. I've set up exactly what I want to see. I've already created a search, pay, uh, a, a search title and named it accordingly. There's some additional features here where you can set your highlighting rules, your available filters, audience roles, email, and I'm going to quickly go through some of these. Highlighting enables you to highlight certain results. For example, you might be interested in transactions above 10,000 and you set it similar to your criteria. You set your condition and then your highlighting requirements. For the purpose of this, it's a little bit too advanced. So I'm going to skip over that part. Available filters is very important in a sense that an available filter will show at the top of your report when you run it. That might not make sense right now, but I'll explain to you as we go along. When I select an available filter, it's similar to all the others. These are the fields I have available relating to the record. I'm going to select name because I'm interested in filtering between different payees. If I click show in filter region, it's going to show at the top of my report. I can also show as multi-select. Under audience, if I haven't selected public, I can define each role, department, subsidiary, group, employee, partners. There's a range of different audience options I have available. For example, if I wanted to only allow members of the accounting team or the AR or AP team access to this report, I can click on the, the two arrows that would open up and I can click on the roles that I want to have this available to. I could also select on the departments that I wanted to have this available to and subsidiaries, etc. Now all these conditions must be met for an employee to have access to this report. For the example of this demonstration, I'm going to click public so that everyone has access. For now, that's all I'm going to be going through. I'm ready to run my report. So I hover over the, the blue button up here and click save and run. And that's going to start loading my report. Depending on your criteria, this might take a little bit of time to load or the number of results that you have available in your system. 
Now straight away, you can see that I have 157 bill payments or bill payments relating to purchase orders and bills. We have the internal ID, the payment date, my bill number, the corresponding purchase order, the amount of that purchase order that's been paid, my check number and my payee. Right, so if this is exactly what you're after, you've quickly created a save search to achieve that. Now you see the filters region at the top of the screen here. And if I click on this plus sign, it gives me a range of filters. At the moment, I've only added the payee as a filter. If I click into this field here, it will actually let me define a payee that I'm interested in. So on my right hand side, one of my payees is Acom Business Solutions or ACOM in my payee filter, I can click that. As soon as I click that, the report is gonna reload and I'm gonna see 32 bill payments for ACOM Business Solutions. Now that brings me to the end of this video. This was a quick overview of a basic safe search. If you're interested in knowing more, reach out to us. Thanks for listening and have a great day.